is MJ and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make the square for our king size blanket. The yarn that I'm using is Brava Worsted Weight which is 100% acrylic and you can purchase this yarn from We Crochet or Knit Picks. I'll also be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and this is my furls crochet hook and you'll find the links for these in the description box below. So the square is worked in corner to corner. Our square is 10 inches but with our border but with our border it's about 10 and a half inches finished size. So let's get started. The color I'm using is Tranquil. It's a beautiful mint green color but I've used a variety of colors throughout my blanket. There's a very huge color selection so you can pick whatever colors you want to match your decor. So we're going to begin with a slip knot. Put that on the hook and we'll begin by chaining six. And now in the fourth chain from the hook, we'll work a double crochet. So one, two, three, four. And we'll work a double crochet in the next chain. And we'll work a double crochet in the next chain. And this makes our first block. So this pattern is worked on the diagonal. And now we'll chain six. A chain six will always increase our pattern when we're working corner to corner. Now we'll work in the fourth chain from the hook again. A double crochet in the next chain. And a double crochet in the next chain. And now we're going to flip up our first block and here is the, the starting chain right there. We're going to slip stitch into that chain. Now we'll chain three and we'll work three double crochets all in that chain space. And that completes our second row. So if we turn it this way, this is our first block, our first row, and then we have two blocks for our second row. And every row will increase by one block. So the next will have three and then four and then five and then so on. And we're increasing to a total of 13 blocks. So again, we're increasing, we'll chain six. Work back in the fourth chain from the hook. One. Work a double crochet in the next chain. And work a double crochet in the next chain. And again, we flip up. So we're always flipping up to join. So we flip and then we join into that chain three space chain three. Every block is made up of our chain three and three doubles. One, two, three. And then we slip stitch into the next block. Chain three and three doubles. And there you can see we've now made our third row with three blocks. And we're going to continue increasing in this way until we have a total of 13 blocks. Okay, so I'm just going to show you on this other block I was making in grass. And I've worked up to the 13 block mark. So I'm finishing off here with 13 blocks. 
So you just count them across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And if we give it a measure, you should be at that 10 inch mark for your block. So if we take a look at our gauge, one, two, three, four, five, I have about five and a half blocks in four inches. And going the same way as well. Okay, so this is now where things change up. Normally we would be chaining six and we would be increasing again. We're no longer increasing, so we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch into the chain three space. So we've created now our corner. This is our corner now. We're no longer going upwards. We're going this way. And now we can chain three and work our three doubles in the chain three space. And then we slip stitch down into the next chain three space. One, two, three, and work our three doubles. Oops. Okay, so let's just take a look. So there now, this is what we'll do. Always when we reach the end, we're no longer increasing. So we're working that chain three and bringing it back down. So now I'm gonna work along and then I'll show you what you do when you get to this end. Okay, so when you get to the end, all we're doing now is slip stitching into the chain three. We'll chain three and turn, and then we're slip stitching down into this chain three space. You can also slip stitch across, but I kind of like the chain three. It just makes it look, I think, a little bit cleaner. Then we'll chain three, work three doubles, and then you can see our corner here. So at this point we're just decreasing, so we're not doing any more chain sixes, we're just slip stitching into our chain threes when we work across, and then chaining three and slip stitching down or slip stitching across, whatever your preferred method. So we're just gonna continue now doing this, decreasing every row. Here's another square I've been working on and I'm just gonna show you how to finish up now. So I've slip stitched, I'm chaining three, turn, slip stitch into the chain three, chain three, Work my three doubles. And we're just slip stitching now into this chain three and our square is complete. So you can just fasten that off. Now these squares will need to be blocked just because you can see sometimes they don't look completely square. So blocking them out We'll just make them all uniform and make sure all your squares are even. So you can just, you could do this before or after. I'm gonna do mine, I think, after we do the edging. So at this point, it should be a 10 by 10, but with the edging, it'll be 10 and a half by 10 and a half. And you just put it on your foam mats with some pins, dampen it, dampen your piece, and then just allow them to fully dry. So I'm gonna show you next how to do the white border. Okay, so I'm taking my white yarn and you can join in to any space. We're joining in the spaces between the blocks. Okay, so just choose any space, it doesn't matter. And we'll chain one, work a single crochet in that space. Now we'll chain two and work a single crochet between the next space. Chain two, 
and work a single crochet. Chain two. This is all we're doing all the way. And once we get to the corner, I'll meet you up and show you how to work it. Okay, so I've already chained two. We're coming up to this corner. So up in the corner, we're gonna do a single crochet, chain two and a single crochet. And then we'll chain two and work a single crochet in the next space. Chain two and a single crochet in the next. Just repeat that all the way around your square. And now when you get all the way around, we're gonna chain two and we're slip stitching in that first single crochet to join. And then we can fasten off. And then we just have these ends to weave in. So get the ends weaved in. You can block out your squares and then I'm gonna show you in the next tutorial how to join your squares. Okay, so you wanna look at the diagram on the blog for the color pattern or make up your own. But I'm gonna show you how to start off the first few squares. So what you wanna do is join them going up vertically and then after you can go across horizontally to join them. So here are my first two squares, my coral and my tranquil. So I'm gonna put them right sides facing to begin. So you wanna check your finished edge here to see that you have your right side and then just put them together like this. I'm gonna take my white yarn and I'm gonna go through that chain two space of the corners Grab my yarn, pull it through. Okay, and then we'll single crochet all in that same space. Chain two. You wanna make sure you're grabbing the right chains as you go. So we're going through the chain two here and also the chain two of the other square. Chain two. And then we're gonna single crochet through the next chain two and the chain two on the other square. Chain two. And we're just continuing this all the way along. So I'm gonna continue down and then I'll meet you up at the end. Okay, so we're reaching the corner. We'll finish that off. Okay, so I've single crocheted in this corner and then we're gonna go right through the chain two of the next corner and single crochet. Chain two. And a single crochet. Chain two. And repeat that all the way along. Okay, so this is how it's looking. And now what I'm just gonna do is flip to show you how to work the other way across as well. So I'm gonna join into the corner just the same as we did initially. this into position here and I'll work that single crochet in the corner chain two and I'll work across and meet you up at the center okay so I'm coming up to the corners here we so I've chained two already we want to make sure that we get into that corner on both sides 
or single crochet. Chain two and find the corner and work a single crochet. Chain two. And we find our next chain two spaces. And continue. Whoops. And it will work really quickly to seam all of these squares up. I'm just going to show you how that's looking on this side now. So there is how this should look here. It looks really great. And then you can keep working with your one strand of yarn all the way across. And then when you've completed that, you can weave in your ends. And I'll complete this blanket showing you how to work a border all the way around. I've already completed the border going around, so I'm just going to show you on a small little sample how the border of the blanket is going to work. It's really simple to do and I've gone around four times in single crochet. So for the border I'm going to use a smaller hook. So I'm using my five millimeter and I've already completed the, the single the border in the main color around. So just imagine you, you have all your squares joined now everything's complete. So let's just pretend this is our full blanket right here. So I'm going to show you with the gray just so it's a little bit easier to see, but you'll be working this all in the white. So I want you to join into any corner. So that's a chain two space corner right there. So let's join with a chain one. And now we'll work a single crochet. Now what we'll do is work a single crochet in the next single crochet. Then we're going to work two single crochet in the chain two space. Single crochet in the single crochet and then a single crochet, two single crochet in the chain two space. Single in the single, two singles in the chain two space, single in the single and then when we get to our corner we'll work a single crochet chain two single crochet so I'll get you to complete that all the way around and then I'll show you what we're going to do when we get back to that starting corner okay so I've worked a single crochet in the last single crochet and now we're coming up to the corner here so there's the single crochet there and now in the corner we need a single crochet chain two single crochet so we started with a single crochet so we'll do another single and a chain two and then we'll just slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet to join okay Then we'll chain one and we'll work a single crochet in every stitch around. And I'll meet you when I get over to the corner. Okay, so every corner will be worked the same. We'll work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all in the corner and then continue with a single crochet in every stitch across. And again, once we get to the corner, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So I'm just gonna keep working that around. Okay, so we're to the final corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then we'll just slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. 
and then we're just repeating round two now for two more rounds. So I did a total of four rounds of single crochet. You could probably get away with only doing three if you want it, but I think four is nice. It gives a nice one inch border around the entire blanket. So just now your next two rounds are a repeat of round two. And once you have that completed, you just want to leave a long tail, fasten that off and weave in all of your ends. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and have an awesome day.